Circular saw blades, do teeth matter? Do they? Today we're going to discuss the realm of circular saw blades and explore the different types of their respective purposes. We'll unravel the top circular saw blades and find our answer. First up, we're going to talk about the different types of teeth or blades. The FTG, flat top grind, is designed for ripping with the grain, making faster and cleaner cuts like a hot knife through butter. While the ATB, which is alternate top bevel, features angled tops forming points on either side, ideal for cross cuts and gain crossing maneuvers. The ATBR, alternate top bevel and raker, is similar to the ATB, but every fifth tooth is ground flat. That's also known as the combo blades. They're like the Swiss Army knives of the saw blade world, easily handling, ripping, and cross cutting. Lastly, the TCG triple chip grind. All of the teeth are ground flat, with every other tooth having corners knocked off. This blade is suitable for dense materials like melamine, plastics, brass, and aluminum. But it's not just teeth that matter. Choosing the right kerf for your circular saw blade can make all the difference in your woodworking game. The kerf or the width of the cut made by the blade is a key factor for your cutting performance. A thin kerf blade is your best friend for cuts with minimal waste. It zips through materials with less power, making it perfect for fine woodworking and saving the expense on materials. Just be mindful that these slender blades can flex a bit, which might lead to rough cuts and harder woods. Now, if you're gearing up for some heavy duty action, a thicker blade kerf blade is your go-to. These blades are rock solid, providing the stability needed to slice through hard or thick materials without bending. They're built to last and handle tough jobs like a pro, dissipating heat to keep everything running smoothly. The trade-off, they consume more power, typically a little more expensive and create more waste, but they got the job done when you need maximum durability and strength. So, what's your cutting style? For cordless applications where conserving power matters or speedy cuts with less waste, grab a thin kerf blade. For those heavy duty projects, a thicker kerf blade is your reliable workhorse. Now that we've mastered the ins and outs of kerf selection and how it can boost your cutting game, let's dive into another critical factor that enhances your saw blade's performance, the coatings. These coatings work wonders by reducing friction, preventing rust, and increasing the blade's hardness. Let's dive into some of the common coatings and see how they help your cutting game. Titanium nitrate coating. This gold color coating isn't just for looks. It makes the blade tougher, resisting wear and tear so it lasts longer. The reduced friction means smoother cuts with less heat buildup and the corrosion resistance keeps the blade rust free. Teflon coating. While it might look like paint, red for Diablo, white for Milwaukee, Teflon does much more. Its non-stick properties mean less friction, preventing resin and sap from gumming up the blade. This also helps the blade stay cooler during use, preventing warping and ensuring it stays sharp and reliable. With these coatings, your circular saw blades don't just cut, they cut better, longer, and with less hassle. All right, let's talk shop. So you got your trusty 24 30 tooth FTG blade, right? It's like the muscle car of saw blades, built for one thing and one thing only tearing through thick wood like nobody's business. With fewer teeth and a flat grind, it's all about the aggressive cutting action, making those tough jobs a breeze. Now let me introduce you to the 40 50 tooth combo general purpose blade. This bad boy is the ultimate multitasker in the workshop, the jack of all trades if you will. Need those finished quality rip cuts? This blade's got you covered, slicing through wood with precision that'll make a surgeon jealous. It's like the scapel of woodworking leaving behind clean, polished edges with minimal sanding required. And don't even get me started on its everyday cross-cutting game, handling everything from basic frames to intricate structures with finesse. It's the blade you didn't know you needed until now. The 6080 tooth ATB blade is your precision tool for flawless cross cuts and plywood projects. With its high tooth count and alternate top bevel design, it's tailored for intricate work, ensuring clean and accurate cuts. Whether it's delicate plywood or demanding precision cross cuts, this blade delivers impeccable results with minimal touch-ups needed. From intricate joinery to cabinetry, it elevates your craftsmanship, making it the go-to choice for precision work in woodworking. Hey, come close because we're gonna tell you a little secret. Use fewer teeth for hardwood and more teeth for softwood for smoother cuts. But shh, don't tell anyone else that. All right, let's talk hook angles, shall we? So you've got your positive hook angle. It's like the eager beaver of saw blades, always ready to go. With its forward slanting teeth, it's all about that aggressive cut, slicing through wood with the precision of a ninja. Now onto the negative hook angle, AKA the laid back cousin of the bunch. Picture this, its backward slanting tooth offers a more relaxed approach to cutting, perfect for those moments where control is king, all about preventing the blade from getting ahead of itself. And that's a scoop for circular saw blades. From the mighty FTG to the versatile combo, general purpose and precision ATB blades, each has its own superpowers. Whether you're tearing through thick wood or crafting flawless cross cuts choose the right blade for the job happy sawing folks if you have any other questions leave us a comment or give us a call or send us an email or write us a letter 
Whatever you prefer, just get a hold of us and we'll help you out. If you're looking for even more content from us, subscribe to our channel or check out one of these videos here. Thank you for watching. Now get back to work. Doesn't say that. <laughs> it's just a weird way to start.